A moment from my favorite show, Special Forces World's Toughest Test. It started with 16 celebrities, including our friend Dr. Drew, taking on some of the most physically, mentally, and emotionally demanding training exercises to see if they have what it takes to join the Special Forces. Now, tonight at 9 o'clock, right here on Fox 11, the Special Forces season finale, and it is down to four. NBA player Dwight Howard, soccer pro Carly Lloyd, bachelorette, Hannah Brown, and NFL star Danny Amendola. Uh, with more, you saw him there. Light up Gus Kenworthy on fire. We are joined live by Recon Marine veteran and Special Forces staff, Rudy Reyes. Thank you for your service, Rudy. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's the best country in the world. I was honored to serve it. Oh, gosh. Uh, I, I love you. I love the show so much. I want to get a real sense, though, on all of those training exercises. How realistic are those? Is that really uh, exactly what you're doing in the military as well? This course is a boiled down version of selection and basic military taskers and challenges that all of us must go through. Billy, Foxy, Remy, myself, uh, we build this course off of our own experiences and it's as real as it gets. So, you know, although there's a lot of this that looks like it would be fun to try just for it, but uh, there's a lot of people that watch this are like, I never want to do anything like that. But what are the lessons that all of us can learn from watching this experience in our own lives in terms of overcoming adversity? You know, Alex, uh, first of all, we recognize that you always have enough time to do what you need to get done. When you're put through a military selection and when, when you're in an executive mindset where all you do is push and execute, you realize, wow, we have so much time because I'm able to accomplish all these things when I have these incredible instructors with me. Maybe I can bring that back home into my life and be more productive and be more present with what I'm doing. Uh, I think it's fantastic. I think it's a, a human revelation show masquerading as a military selection program. You've served this country, you served three tours, you have a slew of medals and achievements for valor, so on and so, so forth. Again, thank you for the service to this country. How does all of this, how, do you enjoy doing special forces? I absolutely love it. I mean, we've already got the itch. The boys, Billy, Foxy, Remy, myself. Uh, I just got back from doing a few seasons in Vietnam for my UK brothers and sisters across the pond. Um, I love the work. I love to know that all of my time as a recon Marine, as a team leader, as a scout sniper, that the knowledge that I gleaned from being in those arduous conditions, that it still makes a difference and an impact where I'm at now. I, I love it and I'm happy to do this and I'm happy to, to represent my country in this new way. Well, it's great to see you smiling. I, I think we've seen you smile more during this interview than we see during the entire show. So I, 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 I'm glad <laughs> I'm to see smiling, that your mouth moves smiles. in that direction. <laughs> um, <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> Alex, there's not a lot of smiles out there, but I yeah. got to tell you, um, uh, I have a, a dog and two cats. My, my little cat, her name is Pants, and she's the love of my life. And uh, when some of these recruits are sucking buttermilk and hurting so bad and the tears are falling, I really want to go across that, that table and give them a hug, but it's cruel to be kind on this course. Uh -huh. uh, for them to get the most out of it, for them to get the very most out of it, I have to be a hard anvil. Yeah. We don't have a lot of time. I do want to get a plug in, though, for your nonprofit. It's called Force Blue. This is something special. Tell us all about this quickly, if you could. Sure. Uh, Recon Marines, SEALs, Pararescue Men, Green Berets, Special Operations Combat Divers, repurposed to fight the ultimate war uh, to protect the planet. We rebuild coral reefs and do ocean conservation, and that is what I do with my life. It is my new purpose. Well, the season finale, can't believe it's over. We're, we're bummed about that, of yeah. Special Forces World's Toughest Test airs tonight right here on Fox 11 at 9 p.m. Um, and let's hope there's a season two. And if so, you got to get Marla on it. Yeah, is there a season two, Rudy? Can you tell us that? <laughs> it, well, you know, the, the word on the street is it's looking really good. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. And Alex, Alex, I hear your producer wants to put you on the show, my man. Let's, let's do so it. So I'll get you in contact what with What about Cassie? me? I'm the one who booked you. Come on, Rudy. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thanks. We'll be right back. Marla, I see you run. Marla, you're running all the time. You'll kill it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.